Well, hello there, Eric Griffith here for Mobile Tech Services here in Mobile Tech Studio B. And today it's time for you to make like a tree and get out of here. That's right, it's closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here like all of your email and files. But if you'd like to make a copy of them before you leave, I'd love to walk you through that process. Now, the easiest way to do this is to first create your very own personal Google account so that Google can make a copy of all of your files and email and transfer those over for you. If you already have one, then great. If not, you can make one at the start of this process. But in short, you're going to follow these steps. First, go to the website right here. It's takeout.google.com forward slash transfer, which I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process here in a minute. Then you're going to type in your personal Gmail account. Next, Google is going to send you a confirmation code to that personal Gmail account. And finally, you're going to use that code to transfer all of your Gmail and Google Drive files over to the new account. But before we get started, I have just a few rules I want to make you aware of. One, if your Google admin for your school district has not enabled this feature, I'm super sorry, it's not going to work. So give this a try, and if you get an error message saying your Google admin has not enabled this feature, then you can send this video on to your Google admin because at the very end, I'll tell your Google admin how to enable this feature for your entire Google domain, all right? Two, or second, just because Google has the ability to do this doesn't mean you have the right. And what I mean by that is it's still up to your school to approve this process. So again, you definitely want to check with them first. All right. Third, if you were using Google Classroom and you have any assignments that are outstanding, uh, meaning that you've turned in and then you've not received back, those files won't be copied over because technically you don't own them right now. So if you had a super important paper that you had written and you definitely want that back, then you need to email your teacher and ask them to return it before you start this process. Fourth and lastly, uh, the process I'm going to show you only copies over your emails and files that you own from Google Drive, nothing that was shared to you or in any shared folders. So if you're looking for uh, your calendar appointments or maybe something from Google Keep and any other data from Google Tools that you might have used while you're in school, you want to use the regular way to do this, which is called takeout.google.com and follow that process there. Now, that process isn't as easy as the one that I'm about to show you, but it does allow you to download all of your Google documents. The downside is it does convert them over to Microsoft documents, and it also requires you to download them and save them somewhere else. So you definitely don't want to use a school Chromebook in order to do this more like a personal computer. All right. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and follow me over to my teacher desktop here and we'll get started with this process. All right. So first, what we want to do is go over to takeout.google.com forward slash transfer. Once we're here, we're going to go ahead and put in our personal email address, right? So I'll put in a personal email address and then I'll click send a code. Now we should get an email immediately right there from Google. You can hear it dinging on various accounts. It says verify your account. So when you click there, it says go ahead and get the confirmation code. All right. So what I did is I pasted that code uh, or I'm sorry, that email address in there. And then it sent a personal code to my email account. All right. So I happen to just open it up on my computer here, but you could open it up on your phone. And then what you want to do is copy this personal code here. Okay. Then we're going to copy that and paste it again. If it's on your phone, you'll have to retype it. You're going to paste it down here and then click the enter code button. Okay. So then you're going to click verify right down here, and then you're going to be prompted. So this is my test student, uh, student.andyjackson uh, at Imagine Kleppinger, and we're going to transfer them over to my personal email account. All right. So uh, the only thing it has allows you to do is transfer files that you own from Google Drive, as well as your email. So once we do that, we click this start transfer process. 
it's going to prompt you to sign in your password again. I'm not going to do this and it'll actually cancel the process, but it'll give you an amount of time that it will allow you to transfer that stuff over. All right. So it's not an instantaneous thing. It's just going to happen uh, in the background. All right. So it's not something you have to watch or leave your Chromebook on or anything like that. Google just takes care of it in the background, which is why this is the easiest process for you if you're an educator leaving the school district or if you're a student leaving the school district. This is definitely the easiest thing to do. All right. So thank you. Thank you very much for watching this. Um, if you found some value out of this uh, YouTube video, go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe below. Um, the rest of this video is going to be for your Google admin. Right. So forward this on to them and I will walk them through how to enable this feature. If you found that when you were trying this feature out, it was off for your Google account. All right. So let's jump back over to my Google admin account right here. And under this Google admin account, where I want to go is under apps right here. So once I click on apps, it's not a regular Google workspace feature. It's actually considered an additional service. So we want to click on the additional services here. And then we want to scroll all the way down till we find Google Takeout, right? It's not called Takeout or not called uh, just Takeout. It's called Google Takeout. And you can see in this example, I have it on for everyone. But for you uh, as a Google admin, it may might say on for some or off or something like that. All you have to do is click on it and then change that to on for everyone. Okay, so in, in my example, I have it off. And then you can actually select specific organizational units for this. So if you didn't want students to have the ability to do this, uh, or you just wanted seniors to have the ability to do this, you could select it per OU. You can also click at the permission level here uh, to do that. And that's what I've done in this organizational unit is just set it at the top. Everybody can leave. Uh, and then you have to check this box right here that says allow users in this organizational unit to transfer their content right? So easy as that to just transfer out your stuff. So hopefully these settings were helpful and you are more than welcome to pass this email or this YouTube video along to your students and staff in order to better educate them on how to uh, make like a tree and leave or get out of here. All right. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Eric Griffith. I'm the director of media and training programs here at Mobile Tech Services. You can follow me on the Twitters at Mr. Griftastic, I'll pop up here in a second, and uh, I hope that you have a Griftastic day. Thanks.